Hello guys, welcome back to NFT Inspo. For today's video, we are going to show you Samsung Odyssey G4 best settings. So if you're interested, let's start a tutorial. In this case, you might be wondering what are the best settings for your Odyssey G4 monitor here. Well, in this case, there are a few settings here that you might want to change. So first is going to be the picture mode. So in this case, set it to custom and this allows you to tailor the display settings to your preference, giving you the best balance for your specific viewing needs. Now also, for brightness, adjust it to 100. This settings maximizes brightness, making sure that your images are vibrant and easy to see in various lighting conditions. Now, next is you want to set your contrast. Now set to 75. A higher contrast ratio enhances the difference between dark and light areas, providing depth and richness to the colors on your screen. Now also, for sharpness, you want to set this to 60. This helps improve clarity in images and text, ensuring that everything looks crisp without being overly hash harsh. Now, also, for a contrast enhancer, you want to keep this at zero. Disabling this feature maintains a natural look without artificially boosting contrast, which can sometimes lead to loss of detail. Also, for color mode, you might want to set this to normal. This gives you a true representation of colors, making sure they look natural and not overly saturated or dull. Now, next is you have your gamma mode. Now, in this case, choose the mode 2. This settings optimizes the brightness and details specifically in darker scenes, enhancing your overall viewing experience. Now, in this case, for game mode, you might want to turn on the game mode here. This setting optimizes your display for gaming, reducing input lag and improving response times for another gameplay experience. Now, next is you have your adapted sync. Set this to on. This feature synchronizes the display refresh rate with your graphics card, reducing screen tearing and providing a fluid visual experience. Now, for response time, you want to set this as fastest. This minimizes delays in pixel response, making sure that fast moving images appearing smoothly without ghosting. Also, block equalizer. Set this to around 10 to 15. This adjustment enhances visibility in darker scenes, making it easier to spot details without overexposing lighter areas. Now, what about dynamic contrast? So in this case, turn this off. Disabling dynamic contrast ensures consistent brightness across all content, which can be more visually pleasing. Next is just in just in case if like for example if you're using NVIDIA, you could use or just a few things in the NVIDIA control panel settings as well. So in this case, set brightness to around 50%, contrast to 50%, gamma around 0.85, digital vibrance around 60 to 70%, image sharpening at off, anti-lacing at FXAA off low latency mode to ultra and power management mode to prefer maximum performance. So in this case, that's about it. So hopefully this video was able to help you like and subscribe to NFT Inspo. Thank you for watching.